Did you know that most of the world's carbon dioxide are actually stored below in the ocean instead of above in the atmosphere? Over the past century, the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has increased rapidly. The ocean absorbs carbon dioxide from the air at its surface to achieve equilibrium between air and water. But how does it do that? The pH indicator reveals that tap water has a neutral pH of 7. Upon introduction of carbon dioxide CO2 gas by exhaling, the pH decreases to 6, indicating increased acidity to the water. Eventually, the water will become saturated and can no longer absorb any more carbon dioxide gas. As CO2 enters the ocean, a portion is absorbed by photosynthetic organisms. Some react with alkaline materials from rocks and ancient shells, and some are transported to deeper waters by thermal helium circulation, a process driven by variations in water temperature and salinity. This shows thermal helium circulation. The blue dye is cold, dense polar water sinking and moving towards the equator. The red dye is warm, soft water from the equator flowing towards the poles. CO2 can be removed from the ocean using electrochemical methods by applying voltage to electrodes in seawater. At the adult, water is oxidized, losing electrons, producing oxygen and proton, making the water acidic, releasing CO2 from the bicarbonate. Chlorine can also form chlorine gas as a side reaction. At the cathode, water is produced, gaining electron to hydrogen gas and hydroxide ion, forming sodium hydroxide, which neutralizes the acidity. The water can then be returned to the ocean once CO2 is removed. Saving the planet a bubble at a time.